Hello, my friend. My name is Anton from Conning.com, and we continue our video series of PYJ in my our Python libraries that we have created for you to help you manage your network elements with Python and JNMI. Today, the first session, and uh, we start discussing the telemetry, so how you could collect the streaming telemetry from the network elements using PYJNMI client. To recap what we have done previously, the, in the first three videos, we have covered the collecting of the capabilities from the network element, collecting the operational or configurational data, and changing the configuration, so basically putting new or removing existing one. To remind you the topology, we have our server where we run PUI JNMite, has both APU4 and APU6 addresses, and we have two network functions, Arista EOS switch and Nokia SRS router, each of them have an APU4 and APU6 IP address on the management side, so that we will be connecting different using IP addresses towards them. So telemetry. Telemetry and more precisely the streaming telemetry is one of the biggest power of JNMI in general and probably this is the um, original use case where JNMI was brought for. And uh, the JNMI specification containing the specific set of the messages called subscribe, a uh, general operation called subscribe and certain sort of the messages such as subscribe, um, re request and response and uh, Within these messages, we uh, could pass the information about the resources we would like to collect the information from. By the resource, I mean the JN my pass, such as interface or something like that. And also the responders where we collect uh, their provided information. There are two ways, well, there are multiple ways how you could do it. There is like a streaming telemetry where you do a subscription to the device and then you are listening or the temporary uh, on the provided interval about the information. There is also like a pull push model where the JNMI client constantly at the necessary interval uh, sending the request and then device are responding. However, the most popular, uh, the first one and this we'll take a look into. Uh, besides that, there are also different, depending on the network element capabilities, how the collected information could be provided. There are two big pieces. First one, the network element, and this is what we'll be focusing today, could send you back the information in the protobuf format. So basically, uh, each um, bus uh, would contain its own counter you'd see it in a minute. The second way how it could be done where the network element is responding to you with JSON data rather than protobuf, and then JSON then need to be converted and using the PUI gene might could be converted into the corresponding data. So starting with the protobuf, uh, that's what we will uh, look into today. Let's jump to our CLI. So we will uh, copy uh, the code from our previous capabilities, what we was uh, doing. So um, I will uh, create as usual Sheban past or the Python. Don't uh, forget to install the PY JNMI client using PAP install uh, PY JNMI. So um, if it is installed, fine. Uh, sometimes you might want also to upgrade. We are uh, upgrading uh, the code quite often uh, due to uh, based on your feedbacks where you find some bugs or some additional information that you might need. So we are running the latest version, which is 034 right now. So uh, from the PY JNMI, from the submodule client, we are importing JNMI client. In order to work with the telemetry, we need to import the second also a uh, function which is called uh, telemetry parser. You will see in a couple of minutes where it is applied. Then we are importing from our inventory uh, file uh, the hosts uh, dictionary or uh, list. Basically, let's take a look in our inventory. So you see we have in the list host two elements, Arista and Noica. Today we will focus on only the Arista because Arista supports protobuf. Uh, telemetry based Nokia does not support it yet, but I believe they will support it um, soon, at least from what I have heard. And um, that's why we will uh, in our code filter the Nokia for a moment. So uh, going to our body, we will um, create a loop. So we are will um, for uh, our host entries uh, in our host files, we will start collecting the information. So we'll add here the um, 
basic condition of telling uh, or checking whether that our type of the network operating system is Arista. So this is post entry network operating system Arista S matches what we have in our Arista field. So that would uh, allow us to filter the Nokia out for the time being. We'll take a look for the, um, on the Nokia SRS and the JSON based telemetry in our next video. Today we focus on, on the protobuf. So once we know we are doing the job only for Arista, we are uh, creating our, using the context manager uh, with S we are creating uh, the connectivity to our, for our network element. So for our target, we provide the IP address uh, of our host uh, as a first entry in the tuple and as the second entry in the tuple, uh, we provide uh, the port. All this data is provide IP address and port in the inventory file. Uh, besides that, we also uh, provide information about the credentials, such as um, username, which is, again, information we store in our file, username, then password, and finally, as we are still using them, um, insecure channel. We are telling this channel is insecure and we put just the value to true. So once we create our channel, we can now, um, we need to provide the variable, how we would call it, as usual we call it GC. And now within uh, this created channel, we can start calling the, um, collecting the telemetry. So to collect the telemetry, we need to create a um, variable, let's call it telemetry stream. Um, you will see in the few minutes why it is called stream. And at the stream, we are using the um, subscribe. Oh, I need to close it here, I think. Yeah. So I use the subscribe call. As you see in the subscribe um, method, I need to provide either subscribe my message, which is a dictionary, or uh, pool if I'm would like to use like pull push model and or aliases if I'm going to use them. So um, let's focus on the subscribe today. So as such, we need to provide some message. So how the subscribe message would look like? Well, in reality, in the JNMI, the message is uh, relatively complicated. So let's start creating uh, the message. So subscribe message should contain um, a few fields. So uh, first of all, it is a dictionary. One of the element in the dictionary, uh, and let me uh, copy it for now, and I will explain you just uh, in a few seconds all the details. So um, the subscribe message itself is a dictionary. Inside, we have a list called subscription. So the subscription is a, a key component which uh, contains a list of containers uh, having the information about the pass where we would like to collect the information. So it's the same JNMI pass we have used previously to pull uh, or to change the configuration or collect the configurational data. So it starts with the name of the module, then top level container within this YAN module, and then further down uh, the tree pass what we would like to collect, like interface, name interfaces. We tell that this is a sample, so we would like to collect the full data uh, associated with all the counters that are having this pass as a part of, of its um, body. And uh, we also provide the sample interval. So the sample interval, depending on the platform, I mean, some platform could have uh, as small as one second uh, or two seconds, some requires at least five or 10. So in this case, the information or in general, in GNMI is provided in the nanoseconds. Uh, or microseconds, basically, I think, rather than nanoseconds. And uh, we are providing here that we are collecting the information um, on the, well, effectively, I think nanoseconds, yes. So each 10 seconds, 
So that's why we have here like uh, 10 billions uh, as their value. So um, we could provide in this uh, list any amount of the um, containers which we will, uh, which we are willing to. Basically, this all these elements would allow us to um, collect the information from the respective pass. So besides the list subscription, in our subscribe message, we also need to tell what are their type of the telemetry. So we are telling this is a streaming telemetry. So that's why we are using stream. All the type of the values such as sample or stream, you could find these uh, values in the uh, telemetry documentation, I mean, the JNMI specification itself. So that is why we are using here uh, the value stream. We also need to specify in which encoding we are willing to collect the information. So some platform supports Proto, so Arista supports Protobuf, so they will be streaming the information in the Protobuf format. Some platforms, uh, as said, like Nokia is not yet supporting Proto format, but I believe they will support it soon. So that is why, as we are dealing now with Arista, we are using the Proto encoding format. We also specify that we are not using the aliases uh, and um, basically I think in fact we could even delete the scheme because anyway the false is a default one. So uh, what we can do now, we have a message that we need to pass uh, into our subscribe class. So we create here subscribe uh, as a key that we are passing to and the value would be our subscribe message we have created. So this call would create a telemetry stream. So we will make a subscription with our, our PY Genemy library with our script, and we'll be willing to collect each and every 10 seconds all the counters associated with these passes. So if this is the case, we need uh, to make sure our script is not ended and effectively it stays. So um, to implement this, we are using the uh, for loop. It, could sound strange for the people who are familiar with the Python and they will say, okay, wait, for is not an infinite loop, so uh, infinite loop. So the while could be an infinite loop, but not the uh, for. The way how the telemetry is, is implemented using the gRPC, I also the library that we are building our um, tool on is that uh, we will be just creating a channel and listening to the, all the messages coming from the network elements. So uh, what we do then, once we have created this stream, we are creating the for loop for, uh, let's say, um, telemetry, uh, telemetry entry in telemetry stream. So now where the telemetry parser the second uh, function of our model comes into the stage. So what we do uh, now, just to verify the uh, result, we will print using the, this function, so telemetry parser, and then the input to this telemetry parser will be providing the telemetry stream, uh, basically the telemetry entry. So what's happening under the hood? We're building with this call the channel and we inform the device what are the elements where to their genomic pass we would like to collect the information from and what are the period after that the channel is established and we are basically just looping and uh, using the four for all the entries coming we'll be uh, using the telemetry parser parsing from the proto buff to the normal python dictionary uh, native python format um, the messages and getting these messages so in the same loop you could also add the functionality say to pass the information through the, um, um, for example, request library or any others to your um, Grafana or any anything uh, else, so or InfluxDB, so that you pass further the JNMI um, information, the parse the telemetry data. But for us, it would be enough just to parse and to see what we are having. So let's uh, start our script. So uh, Python subscribe. If everything okay, I believe it should work. So um, here we go. So you see, we are start receiving, let me scroll um, up, the information 
from our passes. So you see that uh, the information streamed using the update messages they put into the um, normal container. So let's probably me stop it because you see it's constantly updating me. Um, the information is already parsed in the native native format. So this is a power of PY GNMI. You don't need to buzz or sell how to convert. It contains information about the pass and it contains the value which is associated. So some value are missing, like we don't have description, so the value is empty string, but some other value might have some information such as Boolean uh, or uh, string or integer, whatever the uh, data is. And um, the information, as you see, uh, starts with the pass, what we have requested to, and further all the information is counting from the state and all possible counters. So everything that starts with this pass is pulled for us. So um, this is very helpful because we could just try to uh, explore what the data is available and this streaming would give us all the data and we will see them into the changing format. It also contains the timestamp when the data was collect collected. Um, as explained previously, um, the data is collected in the time from the epoch, which is 1st uh, January 1969, if I do remember correctly, or 70 something, where the like a computer epoch has started. What is important here, the data as we have requested is collected each and every 10 seconds. So at the end of the 10 seconds, you would see the message coming sync response true. So this message means that at this stage, all the telemetry is collected, what should be per our request. And we are waiting till the next operation. So um, this loop is not ended itself. So you see, I have stopped it myself. And um, it will be basically working all the time until your uh, device is up because this is how the information is collected. As I said, this is a native Python dictionary. So you could uh, then push in, store it locally or push to your uh, network monitoring system, Influx, Pras, Grafana or, or Prometheus, whatever else you are using. So. And uh, yeah, as you see, it's very, very simple. Just a few lines of code and you could start working with the streaming telemetry and collecting information from any device. So we have covered today how to work with a protobuf um, telemetry. Um, the next uh, session, we'll take a look how we can collect information uh, using the JSON format. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, take a look on the previous sessions such as uh, capabilities with PYGNMI, get with PYGNMI and set with PYGNMI. Have a nice uh, Christmas because just the next week or this week already you would have it for those who have it. And stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and goodbye.